Hey guys, uh, welcome to Night Tactical. So today I'm going to talk to you about the uh, Verpool Warbird, okay, uh, with a Thrustmaster Warthog stick. So the first thing you want to do is uh, you want to go into Google, type in Verpool, and uh, download the software, okay. Go to the Verpool official site, where it says uh, support. Just go into downloads and then it says here verbal software click onto that uh, you got all different versions here but what I do is I just click onto this on the left and then basically uh, download it okay download the software I won't download it because as you can see I've already downloaded mine over here on the left so I've already downloaded it so once you've downloaded it all you're going to do now is you're going to plug in your Verpool uh, USB uh, into the USB socket. Once that's done, okay, click onto Verpool uh, joystick setup. Okay, double click it and it should open up. It will give some sort of loading and so on. Don't you worry about that. Right, what you want to pay attention to is the top left. Top left, it might say ready, it might say NA. Okay, NA. More likely, yours will say NA or something else because you haven't set it up uh, just remember at this point uh, I've got my joystick or my stick the warthog stick thrustmaster stick fitted onto the warboard already and I've plugged you the USB cable okay but it'll say NA or whatever on the top left first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go onto the firmware so click onto the firmware and from here then I'm gonna click start auto firmware update okay that's what I'm gonna click and then I press OK it'll just give you a warning whatever just press OK okay it will then uh, blink continue to load and so on that is fine the Auto update has been done and as you can see it's a start auto update. It'll just come back to this page again, but we do not have to worry about that. What we pay attention to is on the right here. Okay, it's finished. It says here right page okay. 177 out of 177. You don't have to worry about the rest of the words or the information. Just pay attention to the bottom one, the last one, because that gives you the next step that you need to take. And it says here, please go to profile. Select base, which is a warbird base, and a grip, which is the Thrustmaster grip, and make profile. So we need to go to profile. Profiles on the left, click onto it. So remember what it said, select your base. So the base, which is on the left, is the VPC warbird base. Yep, so click onto VPC warbird, brings a picture. Now on the right, it says select your flight grip. Okay, whatever flight grip you're using, you select it. However, we are using a Thrustmaster. Okay, it says a Thrustmaster Warthog or an F-18. Yes, so click onto that one. And this won't bring any pictures. However, it'll bring a uh, the words and uh, a green tick. So click onto that. Next step is the bottom one over here, which says device side. So if you're using it on, using it on the right side, Okay, I want you to click right. Okay, because sometimes people might have two joysticks. However, I am using only one stick, and that's on my right side, so I've clicked right. And the next stage is this it's not a twist grip. Okay, when you come to this, it is uh, unchecked. However, we must check it to say it's, no, it's not a twist grip. So that's what we want to check. If you look on the right hand side, it has information. So, select the correct VPC base. We've done that. Select the correct VPC grip. Done. Select which side, left or right, the VPC device is on. Done. Select create profile to create a new profile with the selected parameters, which is this. We're going to click onto this shortly. Click save VPC devices to apply the parameters in device. And note, it is necessary to calibrate 
a device when a new profile is created. So the first next thing we're going to move on to is we're going to create a pre-profile. That's the next step. Once created a profile, we are then going to press save. Once we press save, we are then going to uh, collaborate the axis. Okay, so create a profile. Remember, we have to set all of this first. Create a profile. It's going to do its thing. Okay, don't worry about it. It might even uh, like glitch a bit um, like so. Okay, don't worry about that. Once that's done, it glitches off again and loads up. That is fine. Once that's done, press save. Okay. Because we're saving whatever we've just done onto the system. From here then, I then go onto Axis once it's all loaded up. Okay, just give it a bit of time. Now it's uh, ready. I go onto my Axis, Collaborate Axis. And as you can see, that's my joystick. Yep. The Thrustmaster joystick that's been fitted on it right now. So, all I'm going to do is, it tells me here on the right, Axis Collaboration Instructions. Slowly move all axes to the minimum and maximum positions. So, the joystick is my axis. I'm going to move it forward. I'm going to move it back. Okay. Then I bring it back to the center. Now I'm going to move it left. I'm going to move it right. And that's done. If you notice, the X axis is uh, not in the center or aligned with the Y axis, but that's fine because we've done what it asked us to do. So don't worry about that. It is fine. Once that's done, go on to save calibration to your profile. And it's going to do its thing again. Right, so now it's completed. Once it's done, it's thin. Okay, then we're going to save a VPC device. Okay, it'll do its thin again. Uh, save all the settings and everything. And it takes takes a while. Sometimes it'll like glitch out and so on. But don't worry about it. Right, so that's done. Now, if you want to check if your buttons work, go on to buttons. Okay. And now if I press a button... It's uh, all my buttons just to test it and it works. Okay, I'm just testing all the buttons and uh, Yeah, no problem with any buttons on my joystick whatsoever uh, So there the only button that's not coming up is a six I'm not too sure if it's that's just normal, but I've used all the buttons on the joystick and uh, All the buttons have registered and once you've done you just press the X and you close it down and that should save everything and all the information um, onto the system and your joystick should be working fine. So that's the end of setting up your joystick for the Warbird base with a Thrustmaster Warthog stick. If you find that your buttons when pressing does not register after you've carried out all the uh, steps that I've said, okay, one of the problems here could be your wiring from your warbird base has come off. Uh, that has happened to mine. Uh, after I've changed the cams, uh, I think by accident I must have uh, moved the wires or something. But the wires had come off. If that's the case, what you can do to get it fixed and then once you press the buttons it'll register again please leave a like and a comment uh, and please do subscribe to my channel if you do like this uh, video if you comment i'll try and answer as best i can uh, and also tell me how did my video help you so thank you very much and uh, look forward to your comments and i hope this helped thank you